the other half of loser semis. Two titans from Japan. Woo. Kakuru versus Tokido. I can't wait for this one, fam. Oh, is, is he sleeping? I mean, he is in the zone. Oh, he's in the zone. Sorry. He's going to open his eyes and lightning is going to come oh, out well, of him. I mean, you say that, but I guarantee if someone took a picture of him sleeping, that'd be the exact <laughs> same face. <laughs> I, I, I'm dead serious. Conscientious. Does Tokido want to tap him? Oh, he's oh, awake. There we go. Wonderful. I'm We're glad your whoop watch worked. It woke you up, you know? This dude, Tokido, man, he is in phenomenal shape. Me and Robert talking about it. This guy's got like 0% body fat nowadays. Dude, doesn't he have his uh, home gym? Yeah, he's, bro, he's got the bench in the back of his stream. That's his stream decor. We're talking about getting figures. We're talking about putting plushies back there. My man's just got the weight rack. Like, that's crazy. Is he still on that beamer he was posing with? <laughs> probably, I'm sure. He probably Maybe. added a couple more. All right, listen. If I ever see Tokido in a Rolls Royce, I'm quitting. <laughs> Because <laughs> clearly I wasn't good enough with the Kuma. And I got to say, are, is any Street Fighter bracket fitting without having this matchup? Ken versus JP, the lore battle, two of the most popular characters in the game, two of the best players on these characters. Let's get it. Yeah, this matchup has been probably represented the most outside of very Luke features, but we'll see how it goes. One of the biggest things you've got to be cognizant of as a JP player is you don't want Ken running at you in various different ways. Just drive rush into Dragon Lash, Dragon Lash yeah. by itself, Drive Rush, Stand Fist. You yeah. really got to be careful about those spots. There's definitely the Step Kick as well as another option. You can kind of sprinkle in a little bit. Yeah, and we, we talk about Tokido, why right? that Stand Heavy Kick. Oh, yes. he oh, actually recovered in time. So close. The Japanese players are very good at using DI as a neutral tool to counter certain things, but he was just one frame off there, Kakuru. Yeah, literally. Oh, and then Stan Fierce confirmed right there from Tokido. You saw the layout sick. And then again, just bullying him with that Stan Fierce in the corner. He's so good at that. Dude, he makes you so uncomfortable that at some point, you're going to actually spend your drive gauge to just deal with hot air. Right? Yeah. And nothing happens. Thinks he did half the work for me. Oh, he tried to get the parry after the Jinrai. He knew he was minus frames. Whoa. Dude, what? All right, he recovered in time to not get punished somehow, but he missed that. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, let's get up to the other side here. Kakaru will take the punish he can get. Just try to slow this down and Dude. regain our composure for a second. I will. I usually give you word salad. I am speechless <laughs> as to what I've just seen in the last 10 seconds. There's no explanation that uh, we could come up with at the very least. Kakaru, though, he's going to tie this up. Oh, never mind. All right, now. Tokido actually spun me with the Brazilian Ken. <laughs> Tokido actually spun me. The man sent you to Brazil 7-1, fam. <laughs> Nice trade there. And we talked about it off camera, actually. Tokido's so good at recognizing when he's in a max range of crouch jab. 100%. And he just go into light kick, and if it's a counter hit, that combos. Dude, you're looking at an expert with Ken's buttons, to be honest with you. Yeah, for sure. It only takes a player his level, or probably better, oh. to kind of deal with it in that fashion. Perfect parry into the back medium punch. And he will activate Lagushka for the side swap here. And you get it set at something dirty, Kakaru. He's going to go for the drive gauge damage instead. Burnt out. Deal with this. You can't even do supers oh. in this sequence. He went to the button. I think he's worried about level one there. Yeah, that's what he told Kido. That stand heavy kick, I swear. He is the best Ken I've seen at utilizing that button. This is good. It sends him full screen, actually. Super, super good. And look at that. I love the step kick. And then you tried to pop off with the DI, but you did not have the health to survive. So that spacing was pretty interesting because of how meticulous it was. Mm -hmm. It set up the run step yeah. kick, which you've mentioned numerous times today, pretty perfectly. And because if you're the opponent, if you cannot tell that by the naked eye, you think you have the chance to take a turn and you exactly. don't. Exactly. The step kick follow-up on a couple of different options catches people off guard so much. It's even just good after the raw fireball. It's definitely something that has kind of switched the meta a little bit because people like to drive rush usually after the fireball, but the step kick is a good option. It has a less visual indication, giving people less to, to react to. Almost got it. The Japanese players are phenomenal at perfect parrying. Luke Sandblaster and Ken Sabuki. He almost got the punish yeah. there, but he's going to send Tokido full screen and get him to respect that departure for the position advantage. It's wild how they take Luke Sandblast block strings off the table. Crazy, right? Ooh, Ooh juggle the point with the cane, you already know. Deal with it. Plus 25. Nice. Good and again, yeah, that crouch jab into that sand light kick. Tokido's so precise with it. I'm surprised that Kita hasn't really tried to sweep against uh, JP slash medium punch. I agree. Sometimes he, I wouldn't risk it myself, but... And I've seen Tokido, he's a really, he usually risks the sweeps here and there. I've seen him do it against Luke a lot, but not so much JP. He's got to deal with this. And he goes, oh. uh, uh, damn, he jumped over there with a jump light kick, okay. Yeah, the jump forward, and then he confirms off the stand fierce. That was probably just a buffer. 
Limited options, yeah. Oh, but that's the thing, right? Ken can keep harassing you without the uh, drive rush available. Because you can just walk up, crouch medium kick, Jinrai, relatively safe. What's interesting as well is Amnesia doesn't punish the regular Jinrai because it's not yeah. an invincible reverse that hits. So even if he does the empty Jinrai and no follow-up, you kind of got to deal with that a different way. And even then, you're kind of susceptible to frame traps on the Jinrai follow-ups. Yeah, that's, like Man, that's what I was talking about before. <laughs> yeah, indeed. And then there's the empty jump. He tried to crouch fierce, but he didn't put a hurt box out there to catch. And because he was crouching, he got the crouching specific combo into the level two. Oh, he tried it again just to throw. He was hoping that Kakuru would parry because that was going to be a punish counter burnout throw. <laughs> There's the tap parry now. And he got Ooh, after him. After the whiff button, just immediately going to parry. This dude, Kakuru, is different. If you keep trying, you'll perfect parry some button in the neutral, i got to say. He wasn't sure if that was going to cross up. Yeah. That's why there was hesitation on that crouch face. And he's still getting cooked a Tokido to bait that parry there. Yeah, we see it, right? Tokido definitely doesn't want to get his drive gauge bullied for free. Too close oh. on the stun kick that time. He thought the jab was enough. Yeah, he thought the jab would do enough hit stun for the spike to combo, right? That's why we saw that little flub for a second. But Kakuru still in control. That must be such a weird situation as a JP player. You yeah, press the definitely. button, you think it's going to combo, it doesn't come out. Yeah. And you're like, damn, I should have done the conversion. But yeah. you don't want the conversion and the spike to mess up that. What That's a privilege. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely some of the nuance about the character, for sure. Oh. Punish counter throw us. Tokido looked like he came up a bit short on the range. Maybe it was supposed to be a bait. Oh, step kicking away from the spike here. Not a whole lot of drive gauge to work with from Tokido. Tries to stay aggressive nonetheless. And Does that thing ever miss? Nah. He don't miss, man. Well, I love this new drive gauge, but it's now wow. confiscated. It actually did burn him out. I oh, yeah, he's done. Indeed, Kakaru tying the setup after Tokido looked very in control for a while in that game, too. Look, man, we spoke about this with the uh, Arabic talent. Shout out to all those guys. We're at Game is Yo, eight. We had a nice them, long chat about JP. <laughs> One of us said, it's like, look, man, he can just convert from anything, anywhere, and you kind of just have to do it. I mean, you know uh, what my favorite JP acronym, acronym is, and that's Juggle Points. You know it, baby. This man for days with the combos. Got rid of the government name, gave him a new nickname. <laughs> yeah. I love that server I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Ooh. And now, yeah, and they, we've seen that multiple times from Kakuru already, right? He sees the stand fierce, he likes to parry after, so love the throw adjustment from Tokido. Nice escape. He just didn't want to deal with the spike from the yeah. departure. Kakuru, all the stand heavy kick. Counter here, but not close enough. Good sure you can, and he walked away to make sure that will work. Enough to deal with the cross cut scenario, and this will be a counter hit conversion. Limited though. Ooh, man, that was a hell of damage here. And that's a burnt out JP, by the way, and he can still do that. Indeed. Yo, the air. Yep, he's going to get a conversion off that. That was nice damage. Does come down with a jump heavy punch Level this time. One. No, he, oh, missed, he it. missed it. He missed time the meaty. What on earth happened there? Like you said, he was looking for that level one. That projectile would have stuffed it. Oh, man, this is a huge opportunity. Wow, he buffered it. Got Tokido to jump. The OD spike still hit the Rafters and combos into the level three. Another fortuitous moment here for the number one JP in the world. And I promise you, he was actually successful with that trick lab against Zen earlier today. You see, I, I sorely underestimate that tool set and it's going to be a counter impact here. And he's going to take as much drive as possible, I think. No, set up shop. Just, yeah, put him to the other side of the screen. Let himself uh, regen some of that drive gauge. That's why he walked forward for the combo as well. Yeah, oh, nice. Again, the crouch medium punch always come. People's passes off. I see you there. And the teleport instead of the spike. Coming out. No drive rush cancel, though. Uh-oh. He's been whiffing that crouch and medium punch a lot today. Yes, sir. Again, stealing right there, right? He didn't go with the second hit of the Jinrai, so he was able to steal his turn while Kakuru was processing what happened. Interesting choice of the level three, because if he does OD Amnesia, he's burned himself out. Which is why he tried to hold, hold up, probably, to avoid a nasty situation. Exactly. He doesn't want to do the OD Amnesia. You see the back dash. He gets a little bit more drive meter to do the parry. He's out. He's going to yeah, just leave it. Let it rock. Oh, perfect parry, but he had the spike follow-up. Tokido was well aware of that. Tokido's got to run in. Yeah, he has to. Stopped him in his tracks. One track medium kick will do it. And it was that perfect parry. And that was pretty difficult to do because of how close 
Tokido was. You literally have no yeah. time to think. It's only react. And we saw Kakaru, he actually micro walked after blocking one of those first few moves just to get closer, right? In case the fireball, in case something that was punishable came out. Like that stand heavy kick. If you do that stand heavy kick too close, it's also punishable. So I love just the micro movements from Kakaru. Is it stand medium punch? Oi, perfect parry. And he got a micro walk into the crouch fist. That was sick. I see you there. I'm seeing all these micro walks from the top players, man. I know you guys been labbing. <laughs> I swear, man, just a few pixels of spacing can make the world of difference. You know it. Spatial awareness is a big thing. Oh, good Tokido and him getting punished on it right there. Does find the perfect berry in the dry rush, though. We have an opportunity in the corner. Baits Whoa. out the OD amnesia. That's mad damage. My man prayed to no Psycho God. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Uh, yeah, yeah, the attack on the drive gauge assassination by Tokido. And that's a well spent amount of My drive gauge there. God. That's where you got to splurge the money, right? Mm -hmm. Splurge the cash, you'll get the rewards. And it's looking for Tokido to try and equalize in this set. And he tried to throw out a no context drive impact. I'm throwing out throw like everyone now. Oh, yeah, you know. Might as well just keep him oh. honest. Speaking of keeping him honest. Big bait on the OD Amnesia once again. Spin the level two as well. And this is it. He prioritized the dry gauge damage and the screen positioning over regular damage there. Oh. And, oh, look at this. Skip to my loo. God damn it. I'm yeah. so glad that missed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You let the bias show through right there. I messed with that. I'm sorry. Gakadu. <laughs> Back to the mid screen game. Tokido doesn't have a lot of dry gauge. Hits him with the malice. Crouch face again. He's got a level three. Oh, he tried to parry. It was too early. If he gets close enough, he might do level two. Good glad. Mm, there's some multiple jumps right there. Tokido trying to really force his way in at this oh, point. Oh, that was probably one of the most sensational fireball traps I've seen. Yeah, like a that. lot of prerequisites put in order, but I'll take it. Yeah, and the chip was enough, right? Like, even if Tokido landed and blocked, which is what happened, he would still die. Extravagant indeed. Oh, Got it. And that's what happens when you tap parry too much. Yeah. And that's an Angry Bird special. It's really good against Kakadu. Oh, but wait a minute. Wake up with the buttons instead. Level 2 side switch. Got it just in time. Going to do that drive gauge damage here and then set up something nasty. Yeah, just regular departure. Well, immediate and side switch for you. That was a big risk there from Tokido, I must say. Lovely delay of the cancel from the jump medium punch. And he needs this to replenish his drive gauge. Not even! Oh my! The damage off that starter! Just erasing Kakaru's life! Wow! I hope that the, was ice cold. The cinematic damage, my goodness! Tokido's like, yeah, Twitch, you see that one? You see him look at his phone? He said, yeah, Twitch, did you see that one? Yeah, yeah. Take that one, <laughs> high five. <laughs> look at the face! I love his eyebrows. He, like, he was like, oh yeah. Nah. He was like, that's gonna be a high five top 10 to say the least. <laughs> Man. Here we go. Final game between these two heavy hitters, Tokido and Kakadu. Back and forth, we've gone. What will the result be? Had a perfect parry, a stalagmite. Didn't quite work out here. And looks like Kakadu's mixing up the positions of everything he's doing in the zoning game. Not making it easy. Get that purple labyrinth on screen. And Tokido, yeah, he's doing a good job parrying here and there, but he doesn't want to get too overzealous about it. And with yeah, the dude, the barely anything's happened, and Tokido's burnt oh, himself out. Exactly. Look at this. Exactly. And now he tried that sweep that we talked about before, but Kakuru ready. Man tapped into the savings with no money. Mm -hmm. That's a withdrawal fee, bro. That's over overdrafting. Okay, you were limited, so I I understand the hard risk you had to take, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, that puts Kakuru at match point here for Tokido. Oh, he's trying to inch forward into a throw. Kakadu is still even ready for that. We were all silent until that throw yeah. set, by the way. <laughs> like, you could feel the intensity in the air. Oh, get a fireball there. Good confirm once again on the target combo. Dude. Baits him out. I think he's baiting way more amnesias than they've hit. Absolutely. It feels like a two to three to one ratio right now. Ouch. That's going to go to oh. the final round. Yes, indeed. Double drive rush cancel. Had the sliver that I needed. Perfect from both sides. Let's get this final round popping. That's it. We're just flinging out the perfects here like it's a charity event. Let's do it. Oh, First blood see? might take it. Wow, he actually run canceled the stand fierce and got the throw off. You can tell Kakaru is respecting him right now. One wrong Face it out, of course. Ah, no, that's not good. Is he going to level three? He's not going to take advantage of it just yet. I think that was the wrong combo. Oh, the up. back dash from Kakaru. He actually managed to avoid the throw and punish. This is it. Do or die. Tokido, if you burn out, this is going to be, oh, this is going to be disastrous. Faint into the grab. 
You have only got level three to work with. And he jumps away. Kaburu is still hesitating when it comes and to the pressure. And he jumps away again. He's just trying to stay really safe with the pressure. Look Dude, at this. He Three air to air jump backs. <laughs> he doesn't want to commit to anything. Oh, the amnesia. No punish, though. Oh, oh the oh, level wait. three in response to the overhead. Right. By the time this is done, he's going to be fully refreshed. Oh, my goodness. Putting Kakuru on life support. He waits. Yeah. He just waits. He's got to put, he's got to put him in burnout, surely. Oh, my goodness. Kakuru, he's trying to figure out the plan. Please do not jump. He's just got to wait. Beautiful parry. He's trying to hold on to his drive gauge by any means necessary. Push him away. He still has OD Torblum if he wants to work with it, but he wants to play this as safe as possible here. That's my drive gauge to wait for both players. Nullify scary projectiles being thrown, but I think one an, jump leads to death. Well, even an OD projectile from someone's going to yeah. change it. There. Oh, man. He just jumps at that time. OD trying to catch him slipping. Tokido with a pixel. Oh, oh he gets the low. He's got health goal. He's burnt out again. He's going to deal with this. I don't think he's going to defend this. The level two would actually punish the fireball attempt. Kakaru survives. JP. Yeah. Oh. Remember, one frame startup on that level two. It is a very real counter to fireballs. You see it, especially Ken's with a lot of recovery. You can react. It punishes Kakaru. Dude, that was absolute fuego. And I know I've heard Brian F talk about this before. More JP players are starting to do that. But by utilizing level two as an anti-projectile tool, it changes a lot of things. And in that scenario, especially when Tokido went back into dehydration there, yeah. it was torrid. Couldn't believe it, but yo, we can't give you better Street Fighter than this. Definitely not, man. Kakaru surviving by the skin of his teeth. What a set between these two titans, bruh. Tokido, obviously a legend, one of the greatest fighting game players of all time. Kakaru's career is starting as one of the hottest rookies we've seen. Dude, it was crazy because there was literally backbreaking levels of effort to try and just get that win, edge out the win from both players. I've got to give props to Tokido because he's baited so many amnesias in this set and he still didn't come out on top of that as well. Try to be very calm and patient with the approach at times. Other times he had to rush in frantically to get something sorted, but to no avail there. And even then, it's scary because Level two, look, I, I can't eulogize Levushka enough because it's one of those tools that is such a, what's the word I'm looking for? Like it's an auxiliary for yeah. JP's tool set, right? Absolutely. And there are just multiple situations where you just do not want to deal with that. And no. last game, last round, uh, one drive stock or half a drive stock left? Uh, yeah, I, oh my goodness, right. And the fact that Tokido, he ended up replenishing and he ended up getting burnt out by the end again. Just incredible patience. And Kakuru, he was holding on to like less than two bars of drive gauge for what felt like 30 or more seconds. Dude, this was brilliant. Yeah, very brilliant. It's not necessarily your traditional fireball trap, but it was still a lose-lose situation for Tokido. And this cancel into the level three, that was insane. I didn't even know you could late cancel, jump, medium punch mm -hmm. like that as well. Tokido came with the magic, right? Cool. And even then, in this last interaction, delivers a perfect from Kakarun. He said, hang on, let me return to sender real quick. Let me get the refund on that package there by returning that perfect. And then there was a level three Tokido did here where it was do or die at that point. Yeah. Go for the gusto. Had to do, I think he got an overhead or he found that like that slither of a gap. Yes, it was the overhead. He level three, the overhead attempt by Kakarun. Yeah, that's what it was. See, this was, look at this. The drive gauge damage that this combo does is insane and how he handled himself in a lot of situations was insane the amnesia here, here it is right here and then bang yeah mm -hmm. he found it that's probably stopped the other crystal and then look going. at this look at kakaru less than a bar of drive gauge he held on to this for so long just with great parry timings as always right that's been the tale of kakaru since gamers 8 this man when he plays jp it stands for just parry what is the moment you live for with Street Fighter 6. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the action just as that much as we so did. And yeah, there you go. To be fair, I think any JP player would have found, like, whether hooker by crook, I would have just snapped my fingers and said, look. Yeah, we, we the level to, two right there was probably up. coming out regardless, but 